Steve Lamac, the greatest DJ in the world, South by Southwest, 2014. Welcome, welcome back. Well, you're too kind for a start. <laughs> I mean, that's the, best, that's the best introduction I think I've ever had. <laughs> you're a legend. They, they need to make a movie about this guy. Fuck Tony Wilson, Steve Lamac is, uh, is a legend. Who's going to play me, though? Anybody, dude, just uh, tell us just briefly about, you talked to me uh, last night about Nirvana, Blur Oasis, uh, the explosion of music and the bands you interviewed early on. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's really interesting because uh, we're just about to do a big celebration of Britpop because it's the 20th anniversary, or what I think is the 20th, uh, 20th anniversary of the birth of Britpop. Uh, in the, I think it's the second week of April, it was the, there was one famous week where myself and Joe Wiley were on Radio 1. Yeah. And we were uh, doing a series of live broadcasts from Glasgow. Sure. And on the Tuesday night, that was the first time that Oasis played live on Radio 1. And on the Friday morning, we found out that Kirk Cobain had died. It was almost as if Britpop had arrived, and grunge was essentially, without Kirk, just sort of began to implode. Yeah. It was on its way out. Everything seemed to, it was like the tectonic plates of pop music sure. just shifted that week. So we're going to celebrate that. By, and also, obviously, uh, Blur's Modern Life is Rubbish is out at the end of April. So, re uh, uh, so Modern Life is Rubbish, the part life is out at the end of April. So really, it's, yeah. it sort of feels like the time to do something about celebrating what was going on 20 years ago. It's like an anniversary, <laughs> almost. Yeah, yeah. and um, still informing that you know, certain bands are here now. He's got a station now, BBC Six. Um, finds out about emerging artists in England. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us a few bands that uh, you would pick? Um, one of the bands we saw this afternoon, Glass Animals, I think is a group that uh, a lot of people would like. They're one of those groups that fit into the sort of post alt J sort of landscape, but yeah. already championed by Colin Greenwood from Radiohead. Sure. So I think that's that's quite an interesting one. And a girl we had playing at our night, a girl called Cousin Marnie, it's very early, it was the first time in America. Yeah. There's only a few demos flying around online, but I think she's an intriguing, yeah. very engaging person. Yeah. Great music. So your plans for the future? Uh... Ray Davies just released a book. Uh, obviously, you can do 24-hour party, people. Well, what's your kind of vision for the future for yourself? We're going to do loads more radio. Uh, we're going to try and do more outside broadcast. And um, I'm writing a one-man show. Yeah. So uh, basically, I'm going to do the story of me stood up in front of an audience. It's basically all the stories, all the anecdotes I usually tell to people like you in the street or in the pub. Sure. But I'm making people pay to hear them. Okay. That's it. Damon from Blur did a, a bit of a, like a movie cast. I know he did uh, went to Africa and was doing a bit of the same thing. What, what explain to us uh, more about the one man show? Well, it's going to be uh, me telling the story of what it's like being a music fan who ends up being in the music industry. Yeah, but it's all the stories that, um, that as I say, I usually tell. It's the the time I uh, the time I interviewed Nirvana in Shepherd's Bush. Uh, just before Sliver came out, Nirvana came to the UK. We did an interview and, in a bed and breakfast. That's obviously the low rent. That's the motel of the UK. Uh, and all three of them were staying in the same room. Um, and Dave Golden only just joined the band, so he didn't get to do the interview. So this is the interview scenario. I'm sat on the edge of the bed next to Kirk Cobain with a tape recorder between us. Chris Novoselic had caught a cold two days before, did the interview lying in bed with the covers over his head and every time he wanted to say something, he took the covers off, uttered a few words and then put the covers back up, while Dave Grohl is hauling this bin bag, this trash bag, full of dirty laundry into the bathroom where he empties it into the bath and starts washing the band's socks. And all the time this is happening, the Wizard of Oz is playing on the telly in the background. One of the most surreal days I've ever had. So it'll be all those stories. This is Steve Lamack. He's got to introduce bands here all day, all night long at the British Embassy, South by Southwest, 2014. Steve, you're a legend. Let's make a movie about this guy. Somebody get on it. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate everything you've done, man.